peace from Father Anait Bernard and I'm Harry. We are glad that you are here to discover how the story of salvation unfolded and how we fit in that story today. Today the church celebrates the memorial of St Magdalene of Canossa. Her lifespan was from 1774 to 1835. Educated in the school of faith and sorrows, she opted to put herself at the service of the poor and above all in the new generation and women. Magdalene began her works of charity with a few companions on May 8, 1808 in Verona. On December 23, 1828, She obtained pontifical approval for the Institute of the Daughters of Charity, which was already established in Venice, Milan, Bergamo, and Trent. The Institute of the Sons of Charity began on May 23, 1831 in Venice, and she was proclaimed saint on October 2, 1988 by Pope St. John Paul II. The First Reading A Macedonian appeared and kept urging him in these words, Come across to Macedonia and help us. Today's Gospel If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. Today's Reflection Real Concern for the Poor and the Hungry At an inauguration of the provision of food to the deserving poor people, The new NGO's responsible person referred to the inspiring personality of St. Magdalene, who had begun a charitable organization to help the wounded and the sick, but gave special attention to the girls living in poverty and those who had been abandoned. Aware of the contrasts between the very rich and the very poor, she moved more to care for the children, youth and women, beset by economic and as well as moral, spiritual, intellectual, and family poverty. He promised to do this work of charity with full zeal. He assured the gathering to continue providing food on a daily basis to the deserving. He ended to say that St. Magdalene's vision was full of a missionary spirit, and she often said she was prepared to go anywhere and to do anything so that Jesus would be known and loved. He thanked his collaborators for this noble cause. Do we have a soft heart for the poor and the hungry around us? Please pray for us and we are praying for you too. And we can't wait to see you tomorrow. God bless you and have a wonderful day. From this channel you hear unbelievable stories of faith, grace and conversion. Therefore if you are able please consider giving us a small financial gift to support the productions of this channel. This channel is free to anyone and everyone. You are welcome to watch it anytime. God bless you.